freaking video. But yeah, I'm just doing a um. I'm just going to do a quick story time. And that's just what it is today uh, while I'm on my break. So, before I get into this good old story time, if you guys are new here, make sure you subscribe. My name is Tava. This is Tava's Life. This is just me, you know, vlogging, you know, doing pranks, reactions, story times, challenges, things like that. Just enjoying life. So, if you guys want to continue on my journey, make sure you subscribe to the trash subscribe. I can't even say it. Sur subscribe. There you go. Um, make sure you click that bell so you can get notified anytime I drop a video. Also, like the video comment down below anything that you guys want me to do whether that's story times whether that's challenges whether y'all just want me to do a q a which i have multiple up on my channel on my channel so if y'all want a q a um y'all can go watch those i think i have like three or four q a's on my channel uh, the one that's probably like way back when um if i'm sitting with somebody that means that one don't really matter uh, but yeah, this is a story time on my worst date ever. Now, mind you, I've been on some dates now, um, and you know, most of them are very datey, I guess. I don't know, like, I don't have like a requirement for when I go on dates. I just want to have a good time, not be bored, not like, you know what I'm saying? Don't try to fill me up with all the things that you think I want to hear, which I really don't because I'm a different type of individual than you're used to. So, um, first off, you know what I'm saying? Anytime I go on a date, I always drive myself, you know what I'm saying? There, I can count on my hand how many times somebody has came to pick me up for a date. And that's just a preference of mine. Um, and if the right person do come around and they that person, they not like they not gonna stand for me driving myself. You know what I'm saying? Cause I'm very old school. I'm I'm used to old school. You know what I'm saying? I grew up around older people, so I kind of like have lived the 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 life that they've kind of. Well, I've seen the life that they live. You know where the person comes and pick them up for the date you know they like you know basically are in control they have everything planned which this date didn't so we went to i can't even remember what restaurant it was a restaurant and mind you i had to pick it so it was most likely like like an Olive Garden or a TGIF. And this was back when I was younger. So those are the restaurants that I liked. I knew what food I wanted to eat when I went there. And that's what it was. Um, it was probably one of those or a steakhouse or something like that. Um, but we went. And while we're sitting and we're looking at the menu, it's like silence, bro. Which I do not like. I want there to be some kind of conversation. You know what I'm saying? I'm sitting here like, hey, what do you think you want? It was like, I don't know. Okay, so what I'm thinking about, I'm thinking about getting like a steak and some potatoes or like a pasta. Uh, what kind of food do you normally get when you go out? Um, they say, well, you know, I like everything, so it's never really I mean, nothing that I go to. But it's, it's not like what you say. A lot of times it's how you say it, you know what I'm saying? So, he was like saying it to where... I was supposed to know that that's what was happening when he went out you know what I'm saying so that was already irritating me and I'm pretty sure he could probably feel that coming off of me so he tried to start a small conversation like so you know how do you like you know living where you live 
um like yeah it's cool you know the environment is nice that's a lot it's a group of people that i hang out with from time to time when i want to get out um you know it's a good time it like i feel like every city has the same qualities it's just some some are different to others you know um just like mississippi you have that hospitality you have that southern you have that calm um despite what people think but you know and then you have somewhere like texas where it's kind of a mixture depending on who you talk to you might get someone that might have an attitude and you might get somebody that is very nice you know what i'm saying it just depends on the person and how they grew up but they but when i like reciprocated the question they were like it's cool and that was it like it was no like nothing nothing on the end it's like i need some kind of like conversation like like so what do you like to do that's what i was thinking in my head i need some kind of conversation so i was like what do you like to do you know do you like to um you know ride bikes do you like to hike work out watch tv like what do you like to do what are your hobbies he was like well you know from time to time i go to the gym uh i might play basketball but that's about it i was like so you don't want to travel you don't want to like do different things that you didn't think you would do he was like nah i'm very basic and that was strike two because i don't want to just sit in the house all the time especially if we we talking and we on that level we need to be going places we need to be doing stuff you know what i'm saying and i know life gets the best of you a lot of the times well me personally it gets the best of me and i work six days a week so it's kind of like if you don't intrigue me that's not going to intrigue me to want to go anywhere with you you know if you don't get if you don't keep me stimulated and like wanting to explore more i'm gonna be like nah i'm good bro like a lot of times i'm like if you want to go somewhere you know my schedule my schedule it doesn't change unless i change it you know what i'm saying it's always the same i work from this time to this time on these days um and that's just what it is it doesn't change unless i go on vacation or something other than that it's gonna be the same so if i'm conversating with you you already know that i have told you my schedule so the day that i'm off which is one day you can be like okay so on this day we're gonna go do this 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 and this i like for stuff to be planned he had no plan like i had to pick the restaurant i had to pick the time like i had to do everything and it's like like you gotta have some kind of like assertiveness like and he didn't have that he was just so like passive and it's like if you be passive i'm gonna run over you no doubt it's gonna happen i'm gonna run over you and that's not what i want you know what i'm saying um i need a guy that's gonna like that i'm gonna submit to um because i'm a very dominant individual so it's like how how can like it's not a comparison but anyways let's get back to the date so the food comes out and my food is wrong and I'm, i tell the lady that brought the food out hey this is wrong um it was supposed to be this and she took it back he got stupid mad because I said something about my food being wrong and I'm like so you want me to eat something that I don't want or something that's in my food that I, I don't eat like who does that like if I order a specific way it should come out that specific way like if I order Alfredo got there with no tomatoes and no vegetables and it come with tomatoes apparently i don't want the tomatoes if i ask for no tomatoes 
but that really ticked me off like he's so passive that he let little st like stuff like that slide and I'm like yo no if something is wrong you gotta tell somebody bro like don't just be eating shit and then at the end um he act like he wasn't even gonna like suggest to pay you know what I'm saying which is fine we can split it. I don't have no problem with that. But at least have like some kind of assertiveness that you're going to at least pay something. You know what I'm saying? Because I'm used to me going on a date and the guy's paying for everything. Drinks, food, dessert, everything. You know what I'm saying? So it's kind of weird that I came across this. Now, if you just didn't have it, I, I don't understand why we on a date. Because if you can't pay for your food... How you gonna pay for mine? But at the end of the day, like I end up paying for my portion. I end up paying for my food. That's no problem. I didn't really get that much anyway. So, like, what I ate was probably like twelve dollars, and my drink was probably like three. So it came out to like sixteen dollars or some shit like that. It was under twenty dollars. I ain't even have no drinks. That's how you know I was not feeling it because I usually have a drink. Um, but so we go to pay and the, the waiter was, she was very, um, nice and cordial. She made sure everything got fixed with my food. So I gave her a tip and I asked him what he was tipping. He said, I ain't tipping nothing. I don't tip. Oh, you're one of those. Okay. Um, so that was another strike. Now, mind you, that's probably three strikes by now. So, I was like, whatever. I'll tip her. Um, and we got up and paid and everything else. And I went outside. And he just followed me. Um, so, he he followed me to my car. And I was like, okay, so I'll talk to you later. Um, it was nice linking up with you. And he goes in to hug me and then tries to kiss me bro and I gladly turned my face and was like you can get that you know what I'm saying um cause it just was I wasn't even on that type of time with him anymore because he didn't even like he didn't he didn't he didn't, he didn't, he didn't give me what I was looking for you know what I'm saying like it's like the passiveness the then when he did that and i moved my face he got stupid mad he was like you stupid bitch like wait a minute wait wait a minute hold wait first of all you're not gonna speed past that like you didn't just say what you just said you said what i'm just trying to figure out why you mad because you didn't even pay for my food you didn't drive me here. You you was gonna let my food just be wrong and told me I had to say nothing. Was you expecting something else? Like he got stupid mad, calling me all of my name and shit like that. And I was like, okay, I could be that. I don't have anything else to say. You got anything else to say? He was being very, very. Um, he showed he he really showed his true colors when I did that. And you know, at the end of the day, it's kind of like this is why it didn't happen because of this. Like people always show their true colors when they don't get their way. You know what I'm saying? So it's kind of like it is what it is. I'm not fin to like just change my mind because you got an attitude if anything i'm gonna get in my car I might run you over like do you not see this big knife on the side of my car i will stab you bro like i don't play that you don't i'm sorry i don't play that like you don't be calling me out my name just because i didn't do what you wanted me to do you know what i'm saying like it didn't go the way you thought it was gonna go you weren't who you were supposed to be or you played to be like bro if you don't get out of here and 
I was like, are you done? <laughs> Insulting me now so I can get in my car. Because I had the door open. And he kind of had like his hand on the door. So I couldn't get in. Oh, I need to clean this. And I was like, are you done so I can get in my car? Like, how you going to stop me from getting in my car? Like, mine. This is my car. And he was like, yeah, I'm done. I got in my car and I drove off. He was just standing there looking stupid. He sent me a text like, I'm sorry. And I didn't mean to go off on you like that. And I was like, bro, you did mean to go off on me like that because that's why you did it. Who do you play me for? Like, bro, I'm not that girl. You feel me? And if you wanted that girl, you should have went somewhere else. You know what I'm talking about? Because if you was looking for it to end up somewhere else, you should have came prepared. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't know what kind of females you've been talking to. But if they giving you what you want, they just as stupid as you is. Like, it, no, it don't end up like that, shawty. But, um, that was probably one of the worst dates, other than the one that really ended bad. And that one, I'm just really not going to discuss on here. So, um, that wasn't like a, it wasn't like a, that was just like, you stupid. Like, you dumb. Anyways whatever but thank you guys for watching thank you guys for tuning in let me know what y'all horrible dates was down in the comments i really want to know like what do you guys think is a horrible date i've had some some other bad dates but that's just the one that came to my mind like as soon as i thought about it because it was like he like reacted like i was supposed to be different than what i was like i was just supposed to be all over him for what you didn't do anything anyways thank you guys for tuning in make sure you click that subscribe button and join the tribe make sure you stay tuned if you want to stay connected get notified anytime i drop a video make sure you click that bell also put a like on the video comment down below anything you would like to do and also those worst dates make sure you comment down below um y'all stay tuned more content on the way uh if anyone is in the new york area make sure you hit up my social medias because i am looking for people to collab with I'm trying to get turned 2022 right 2022 yeah 2022 <laughs> yeah i forgot what year it was um but yeah y'all stay tuned and we'll be back with another one. And if you don't know, now you know. Bye. Yeah, I'll just step it up and say it up and never be a day I blow.